Hey everybody, this is Ray the Video Guy, and right now I want to get into a little bit more detail on how to use the template for the new YouTube one channel design. Now as we you may have seen in another video, the idea behind this is that one piece of graphic art will work for all of your different viewing options, whether you're viewing YouTube on a television, on a mobile phone or mobile device, or on the desktop. Uh, these different areas here show you what's going to be viewable with which type of product. So what I want to do is I want to actually bring in a background that we can use for this purpose. And this is a background that was designed uh, as part of an animated logo for a company called DeNovo Elite Athlete Management. And what I'd like to do is use that in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag this into our background and you'll see it's actually a little bit smaller than our design, but that's okay. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just resize this up a little bit. And the idea here with the one channel design is that the most important part will be right in here because this is where you're going to be able to view this from uh, any of the devices. And you can see here, uh, this isn't quite in the middle, so it's a little bit off. So I'm actually going to drag this up towards the top a little bit more. And of course, that's going to leave this open spot on the bottom here. However, what we'll do is we're going to just turn our, we're going to switch to our background, and we're going to turn our background to black. And you can see here, uh, it still makes a bit of a bar. So if this is viewed on a television, they're going to have this bar along the bottom here. But what I'm going to do to fix that is I'm just going to take our eraser tool and I'm going to go back up to our file here and I'm just going to kind of smooth this out just a little bit here so it kind of blends into that black background so that it, uh, it doesn't look so strange there. And that's a simple way to do it. Now the idea here is that uh, what we're going to do is put information in the center box that's going to be seen on any device, computer, television, or uh, mobile device. We're going to put some information underneath this here. I'm just going to type in www.denovoathlete.com and we'll change the color to white. And we'll make this a little bit larger. We'll go, let's say, let's try that. Is that going to be too big? Uh, that's not too bad, is it? Okay. I'm going to drop that in here. Now, be aware that um, with this here, in this section here, you're not going to be covering anything up if you put any text on the bottom of this. If you get into here, then on the desktop, it's going to start to uh, flow behind some of the links that you can have. But as long as you stay within these two borders here, you, you'll be okay with putting whatever you need to put there. So we're going to put that in there, and we're just going to add a little drop shadow just to make it look nicer. Bump the size up. You bump the spread up so it's a little more noticeable. Distance is okay. And of course you can do anything you'd like to do on that to kind of spruce it up a little bit. And uh, actually in our case here, we're going to going to go with a, uh, oh, let's go with a little gradient here, and we'll lighten this up a little bit. Just to give it a little bit of a edge here, we're going to go with that kind of bluish color that we have over there too, so that kind of matches up, so we get kind of a steely looking gray there just to spruce that up a little bit. And maybe we'll even move this down again just a touch. Okay, now if you want to get really creative with this, you can certainly start to put some extra things up here and down here that would only be seen on the television. But uh, if you stick with here, this will be pretty good. Now be aware that they're going to pop your little logo onto this area over here, so you might want to be a little bit careful with how you do that. But this is the basic idea, is if you've got an image and this particular leather image here with the logo is used in a lot of their product. So if we put that into here and just leave this in the center, it's going to look kind of neat on a television and it's also going to look good on the desktop and inside of a mobile device. So once you have all that, we're just going to save this out. We'll save as. And I'll choose JPEG. Put 
that into our de novo folder. We'll call it YouTube Channel Art is good. We'll hit save. Uh, 280. You know, you can bring this down probably a little bit here, maybe down to six. Give you oh, just above 200k for that. Hit OK. That's going to save that out. And now if we go back to our channel and we hit Add Channel Art, we hit Select a Photo, and we go back to our de novo folder, find our YouTube channel art, and hit Choose. It'll upload that. You can see it's the right size, 2120 by 1192. Uh, okay, and you can see this is what it'll look like on the desktop. This is what it'll look like on the television. And this is what it'll look like on a mobile device. So very cool that you can do this all from one uh, piece of artwork now. So you can adjust this if you need to. In our case, we've already got it adjusted inside of Photoshop, so we don't need to adjust it further. And we can hit Select. And you can see it's saving it. And boom, there we go. We now have our de novo athlete in here. And you can see our logo will be over in the corner here. And of course, we can edit that again if we need to. Edit channel art. Okay. You can also edit our links here. So let's go in and do this. So we want to add our website to so custom links. Uh, this would be visit us online or something similar to that. And we'll put in the URL. Dot com. Okay. And of course, if you have any of your social links, you can put those in here. There's a whole bunch of them in here. Uh, you know, ones that I've, to be honest with you, I don't know even that familiar with, such as Zazzle and Spreadshirt. Um, but, you know, you've got Tumblr and MySpace and Twitter and Facebook and Google, and these guys don't have any of these things yet. Uh, so we're going to leave that out until they do. But once you put those in there, and you can put more than one, by the way, so if you have another website, you can put that in there as well. And when you're done, you just hit the Done button. And you can see now it's got a tab here that says Visit Us Online. And so that's how you add the channel art as well as your links to the channel art. And again, this will not interfere on any of your other devices. This will show up like this on just the, uh, the desktop version, so you should be okay with that. And of course, if there's any other questions that you have, please feel free to ask me at any time. Uh, you can reach me at ray at raythevideoguide.com. And of course, if you want to have the template that we used, which is this here that shows you... Uh, the different parts of the layout here, then you can get that by clicking either the link in this video or in the description below. And we'll send that right over to you. Thanks a lot.